Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Stellaris. In this part, we are going to be going through the nation that we are going to be playing on Iron Man uh, for the select future. Fuck you, PlayStation. And um, they are the Imperium Avandoria. We are a offset branch of the human human race. Um, we a couple hundred years ago, we were basically sent out as test subjects on a lovely spaceship. And uh, we eventually found uh, we were not nobody know knew if we would succeed, and we basically lost all contact from Sol. Um, I don't exactly know how far we got because obviously I haven't created the galaxy yet, and we don't know if our humans survive. But we've been going thriving now for two hundred years, oh, so we I don't I can't remember really in history when we found it, but we I can't exactly say for certain. But we found our planet, uh, found a new planet. Uh, we found Andorra. We dubbed it, and we redubbed our race Andorans because. Basically, we were in cryo sleep, so we'd have no clue. When we woke up, we had no memory of what happened, and basically, we didn't know. We just, we just established ourselves again, and uh, eventually, we found hyper. We re, we reworked our machines, and we found hyperspace travel, nuclear missiles, and basically set ourselves a nice military dictatorship. Um, we will become a military empire when we can. We are sedentary and repugnant because. Yeah, for some reason, nobody likes us, I'm guessing. Uh, we're industrious and adaptive because we obviously had to adapt to a new barred world. Um, obviously, coming from human, uh, coming from Sol uh, to Andorra. Now, basically, I haven't really got the complete backstory of this. It's completely kink-free. But basically, we, like I've said, we are from Sol originally, uh, sent 200 odd years ago, uh, around 200 years ago. And um, the all, the all the tech we basically got, we uh, reworked from our ships that we came with. Um, good few of us. Um, I'm using, also using one mod for this as I will uh, just like to mention. It is in somewhere in here. It's probably uh, flag. Yeah. So we're using a 120 color mod I believe. That's the one I'm using so I can get a nice white for my map. And that's really it. Um, so just press next there. So we're using mammalian ships, nuke missiles, hyperspace, travel, arid world and uh, we're a fanatic militarist and materialist which is different to what I normally play. But um, yeah, so we're going to play on Lion Man, Max Stars, Max Empires, no advanced AI this time. Because I feel like giving myself a fucking chance. Um, and basically we're just going to play like that and let's get on with it. I did not start the timer, let's start the timer now. But basically we're just going to try our, uh, try to get going. This doesn't matter because it's nothing to do with how, I, um, how my game really went. Anyway. We've spawned in with our lovely ships, our mammalian ships that I'm going to instantly change because they're not right. I don't know, actually no, 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 we'll use Striker Core. You know what, fuck it, we will, we will live with this design for now. Right, so we've obviously, this is Andorra, in the Andorian system. So we've got a nice white color here, we, we, we started pretty central to the galaxy, that's nice. Let's get some text going. Um, I really, I'd like to go for this first, but we're going to go for fusion reactors, obviously sh ships, and nano composite armor. Getting some armor for our ships is always a good thing. I can't complain. Now we're going to survey this entire system, and uh, we're going to play on fast for the most part at the moment. It's kind of got ra ra wrecked here. We've got one system inside our border. Um, and I can't. The one problem about having a pure white thing is you cannot see your hyperspin lanes, but you can see very well where you are. So now yeah, let's go on. Let's go on with this. There we go. The game has calculated itself, and now it's going to run properly. So we Andoran people, uh, we like slavery. Um, we like committing atrocities, but really, we just we just want to find our own place in this world. We were cast out by humanity, and uh, we don't. We know that we were cast out. We just don't know why or who cast us out. We just know that we were. So we're basically, if we, if humans are managed to survive, I'm, I'm gonna say we probably would react. While well, people seeing people who just look just like us, we will probably react the same way as what the fuck are they? Who? Why the fuck they look like us? <laughs> basically, but. Uh, this name of this let's play is basically just to play Stellaris, have fun, and us uh, enslave and purge as many people as possible, because we want to. But it's all in the name of uh, progress. Uh, alpha aliens and agonatic seafarers. So we've got some alien life going. Let's get us going. Does port stop this? But it can always be a good idea to get them done early on. 
Is that Avalon? Sweet, that's a really nice name. But hopefully we'll meet some more humans and, uh, well, ex-humans. Oh, we surveyed the amoeba there. Sorry, not the amoeba. I don't know what it is. We've never seen them before. Ah. Yeah, of course, you know I have, but we've got a nice little fleet here. Which I honestly am going to recommend that you bump up straight away to um, uh, five ships. Get the beta menace going. Right. So this is Frederick von Friedrich, uh, the Andorran leader right now. He's a level four leader. He is a corvette focused and resilient. Um, this race originally was um, vener venerable, so we could live 100 next 20 years, but I thought that given humanities, given that the backstory I wanted didn't fit, so we became obviously what we, what you know as is now. Now, this is going to have to change. We uh, allow slavery. So... Slavery is allowed, so that should really... Oh, okay, whatever. Purging is not allowed yet until we have uh, Xenos. Because I want to purge certain Xenos. I want certain Xenos only. Uh, elite voting rights, obviously. Elitism. Aggressive first contact, of course. Resettlement. Uh, yeah, basically migration. No one. That's right. So this is basically set up now. And our demographics, we only have Andorans. Which is what we want. For now, anyway. Uh, when we were personally, basically, we will only have... We will always have us as our main race, but we will have slave races. Uh, races we basically we slave out completely. Um, so, uh, we have a construction ship which currently has nothing to do. We have a lot of energy in our starting system, which is nice. I mean, it's always good to have loads of energy. It's just... It's not the best resource at the moment. We, we get Our capital is basically going to be a resource farm anyway. Uh, fucking energy farm anyway. Actually, as soon as this bitch I've got nothing to do, we'll build her a mining network, give her, give her some extra uh, minerals and whatnot. And we'll give you a hydroponics farm. Now, building up your capital is definitely something I would recommend early on, as it can um, eventually pop out. It can be it's just, just a planet you, you can well get established really quickly. Um, now, we're this um like I ha like I said I haven't quite worked out all the kings in this story yet so the story may change eventually but it, the main story is we were descended from Earth and we're basically we know that there's someone out there that we want to destroy because of them casting us out but we don't know why yet we don't know completely who or why we just know that they let us they got rid of us and we we knew that we were test subjects so we just we want to kill them for that reason that's a good enough reason to me ah uh, we've really let that go about. Ah, well, beta aliens is important to do, in my opinion. So, unfortunately. But, yeah. After we've done this, we can hyperlane out anyway, so it's not a problem. Yeah, he's level 2. Nice one. Um, so, we now have a nice size fleet as well. That's not even allowed. It's not the best size fleet in the world. Hunting them would be a loss anyway. One problem I don't like about materialism... It doesn't like... They don't... Like, I like being materialist, but it's quite annoying. But yeah, it's it's we are materialist. The good thing about FTL uh, hyperlane is you can just hyperlane anywhere. Get the back here, you fucking bellend. And yes, we did have some minerals in our uh, here. Now I like to tend to focus very very heavily on minerals to begin with, and the fact that I only have one system inside my border kind of upsets me, because it means I can't focus extremely heavily on minerals, which is what I like to do. So, the game's already kind of kicking me in the balls for my playstyle, so that's nice. At the moment, we're just exploring and uh, finding stuff out about these systems. You know, let's go find some friends. There we go. That's what we're going to do. We're just going to go like that and... Go uh, random, go basically pop in the systems and check and see if there's anyone home. So far, this system is basically worthless, and that's pretty much what I was expecting from anything in my borders. Uh, uh, gamma may not actually bother with the gamma. Mm, crystalline entities green. Oh, cannot remember what they. 
Can I remember what you got for them? And oh fuck me, is space amoebas just pop back in? You fucking bastards. And it already fucking ran. I must admit, that is the one thing I hate about having pa uh, fleets in this, that people will run so easily. Oh well, nothing we can do. Yeah, we're not going to bother with those, because I'd rather get my colony ships up. And Delta Aliens as well, lovely. There's no reason not to do them straight away, but again, sometimes it's worth it, sometimes it's really not. We should probably capitalize on all this power, but I really just want, like, minerals at the moment. Yeah, we're going to need to capitalize on the power. There's a random person bitching. Delta aliens. See, we want to get Delta aliens done. Because this is going to give us someone to rival. Or oh, be nice to, I really don't know yet. I haven't decided. Probably rival, if I'm completely honest. And there's minerals here. That's what we need. And you've actually completely researched that system. Which is not good, actually. You, that, that's not what we want to know here. We don't want just two extra minerals in our system. Or a system near us. That's just not good. So once this Delta Aliens is done, we'll, um, it'll be amazing. Uh, there is more alien vessels here. Crystalline entities, I'm guessing. Yep, red ones. Really easy to kill. Uh, we could probably kill all them off now, but uh, I don't see any reason to at the moment. Yeah, I better want at the moment. I kind of just want to expand and get my uh, shit done. What we need is a pop here for a power plant. And build up our infrastructure. We need to get these power plants knocked out as well. Uh, but basically, we just need to get a nice quick expansion going. Uh, like I said, I like to focus on minerals heavily to start with. I basically kind of just completely ignore tech for begin to begin with. Like I really don't give a shit about getting these up until I can have until I have a really good infrastructure like in a uh, like maintain and uh, push myself outwards with. I uh, tend to just completely ignore tech. I just accept that it's going to be slow. Um, and unfortunately, this was is halting our colony tech again. But we have now established communications with the Igarian Coalition. Uh, Archon Sok Bikork sends regards from the ruling council of the Igarian Coalition. We have to have a productive relationship with your people. But we warned our military would respond to any transgression. So, you know, we all have much to gain from this encounter. I'm going to try being semi-nice in this campaign. Like, I don't want to be... We, we don't want to... We don't hate anyone. We are militarists, but we're not... Like, in, we're not xenophobes. So, we... As long as there's a mutual gain, we were ha we're happy to, mean, happy to talk to anyone. But, um... We don't believe... And we don't... We're also the same... Don't believe people to be on the same level as us. So it's slightly xenophobic, xenophobia, but we it's not something that would be considered a major trait to us. Uh, Sublight exploration probes. We can't have gone far. Okay, let's track all these, because I've never done this event before, so let's track. And the systems you want me to... One's in his space, and the rest are up here. That's lovely. Uh, he doesn't like me, so... Civilian access, how hard would it be to get that? Impossible. Lovely. You've built that. Well, you know what? We're going to need some power, so let's get um, let's get this one done. Um, and once this pops uh, completely done in Andorra, and we will have a uh, plus three power in from here, which is good. Construction complete. Bitch in. We've got to, got to do those two and these two. To get that event done, all that situation logged on, this uh, special sublight space probes. This system's turning out decent, it's got some power and some uh, society research, but we really, what I really need is, um, like I say, uh, minerals, because unless I'm making, um, if I'm not making enough minerals, the beginning game can turn into such a problematic time. I mean, these guys look pretty cool, they're fanatic militarist individualists, so. We're going to establish an uh, embassy and just like, we're going to learn to become friends. 
as long as they go up, of course, there is mutual benefit. Uh, we can't access these at the moment, which sucks. So if we actually wanted to go up there, we'd have to go this way, which is not a problem. It's still, it's just, it's probably faster to go that way. But again, it's just, I was just uh, making sure you knew. Oh, there's a colony, colonizable planet here. A beautiful arid planet that has lovely rings on it as well, which is cool. And not really good minerals, actually. Two, four, six, seven. Actually, two, four, six. These ones I will count as food, because food, in my opinion, is way more important to get on arid planets, because you really can't fucking get in there. So in a grand total of 45 months, when we can, we'll finally build up um, our... Uh, what's it called? Our... If I build a colony ship and we'll get that shit going. Actually, you, also, you go back to Andorra, please. I won't be paying for you then as much. So I'll probably cut you in half. Probably like one gold. 1.5. Now, we've. Um, this first part, I'm going to let it go about half an hour uh, for a uh, recording, which is, uh, well, round about that. Uh, but all other parts will be 20 minutes. And of course, I will uh, do one part a day to get your opinion. So we'll be playing till the end of each month. End of part. Yep, that is a fucking planet that you can click on. I did not realize that. Okay. You can terraform. I did not know you could terraform fucking asteroids. I don't know why you'd want to, though. See, he doesn't seem smart. Um... Right, so we're making 16 every month. That's pretty shit, to be honest, but we can't really do anything better. Well, I think about it, military fleet, go up there, please. Go, go all the way up there and try and find some new races from here. And then come back. That will, that will help me uh, find if there's any more people who hate me. Uh, we probably should get more min. Uh, you know, fuck it. We'll, we'll build one more mining station. One more um, power station, and then we'll um, get on to more minerals. Uh, a sensor sweep from the IOA Narwhal has revealed one of the sublight probes to be in the Harbeck system, but it seems to have been altered somehow. Modifications of an alien origin have been attached to its hull, and the probe's energy signature is far greater than it should be. We are receiving transmissions from it. Are you the makers? Yes, we made you. Then you shall die. Fuck. That was not what I was hoping for, you assholes. But it means we get to see our first bit of combat in this Let's Play. Now, I must admit, the Mammalian ships to me are like some of my favorite looking because they look all robust and strong. I, I, I never actually, I didn't actually like them to begin with, but I've kind of grown a fond to them, because I know what the destroyers look like. Hostile. Never seen the cruisers or battleships, but I do like the look of the first two. Um, so this is a nice little bit of combat, loads of missiles flying. Corvette's not getting too damaged, I mean, we're doing fine. Apparently there's some aliens who want to fucking get into my space. Who are apparently helping me. Or they just seem to be at war with the same thing. Long range scans have confirmed that someone else destroyed our modified probe in the Havoc system. Fortunately, nothing remained of its memory banks after the battle, so there's no chance of fun. No, don't tell the neutral target, just leave them. Right, um. Go to there for now, and we'll uh, have fun there. Uh, our construction, our science ship is uh, no longer busy. That's not good. Survey there, survey there, and survey there. Now, um, let's. Uh, here we go. We're going up here now. Let's go check. Uh, the Iowa Narwhal has picked up signal signals from discarded signal boy belonging to one of our missing sublight probes in the Molstar Molstar system. There is an island trail leading away from the boy to on a trajectory towards another star, suggesting that someone has towed the probe there to unknown reasons. Where is this unknown fucking reason? We came through there and how the fuck- we are blind. I swear ladies and gentlemen, we are blind. Ugh. Come on guys. 
kind of lucky we haven't had space pro pirates in three years. I normally fucking get them really early at the moment. I've never, I never got them in my first playthrough. I did streaming, which I'm gonna, I'm always still doing, but yeah, I never got them in that. And I'm just like, in every other playthrough, it's like, here, have space pirates, because fuck you. <laughs> we have found our missing probe. A small fleet of jury rigged ships has been detected in the Murrup system. And one of them has the probe locked in a short range tractor beam. They are hailing us. What do you want, alien? They probe, this probe, ours, oh, salvage. We find first. You leave now. Yes. Interrupting delicate operation. Your ships, your ships are. Most concentrate. Or, if you want probe, we can sell. 100 credits and you probe yours. Good deal, very good. You get probe, less work for us. Everybody wins, especially us. Surrender our property or be destroyed. Ho ho, listen to ugly alien boys. Bugawad, drop what you are doing and come over here to console. Listen to fool. Ho ho. This probe our property now. Fair salvage. As, as will the brief from your ships be. Oh, okay. So, the Great Andorians have decided that we're going to, like, quickly get in a leader. Who is going to be, uh, this guy. Because he's, evasion is the shit. And again, we're just going to put a nice watch of this. I was going to, I was kind of playing putting a mod on this game. Uh, the mod of this beautiful space battles. But, honestly, I like the clusterfuck battles in this game. It makes, it, it entertains me quite a lot. Like, how they just, like, fucking clusterfuck everywhere. I just like how they're flying in perfect, like, form. It's brilliant. Nice, we've got fusion reactors. Nice, 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 nice. Power hub is really useful, but so is administrative AI and so is sense speed. Well, you know, we're doing more surveys now than anything else. You know, we'll get surveys. Uh, I believe we're probably going to win easily because we have bigger missiles. We also have damaged ship though, so that doesn't help us. Oh, they're laser weapons as well, so it means they're going to be very, very bad at shooting us. And for some reason, these fuckers are still here trying to follow me. And we actually lost a ship, which um, doesn't really mean anything to me. We lost the IOA Nihil. That's not good. Oh, well, these guys have been fucked over royally. Spy drones in the Madrid system have confirmed that someone else destroyed the salvage fleet, which is an unlawfully laid claim to our space probes. Oh, it's, we've got two events. Fortunately, it looks like the probe itself was, just, was destroyed along with the salvage during the battle, so there is no risk of the sensitive data falling down. We've recovered our satellite space from the wreckage of the ship. It's a bit dented and parts of it are covered in some kind of alien graffiti put there by the salvagers of my valuable components. Despite this, we managed to download the detailed sensor readings. Probably we have successfully collected all our missing sublight probes. The, de the detailed information they have in the culture is now safe prying in uh, photoceptors with their combined sensory telepath. We have... What the fuck? Well, okay. <laughs> Has a, I have a feeling that that wasn't meant to happen, but it fucking did, so let's just accept. Ah, uh, need to expand there. And if in fact if we've got 32 fucking months of waiting, I've got an idea. I don't give a shit if I was surveying these systems. I need to go survey this one. More importantly, because I'm a fuck with this guy because I hate him. I've decided. No military, fuck military, civilian. Still no, you won't trade civilian. It's a bit of a dick move, innit? We've still not discovered these assholes. Oh, they're Epsilon aliens. Nah, fuck it, I don't really care about them then. This is more important to me. Actually, just, just survey there. And once we've surveyed this, we don't really need to survey the rest of it for now, even though I'm going to. Survey this, and then survey the rest of the system. You, I just want you to fucking sit there so you can build a fucking uh, uh, frontier outpost when the time comes. The Agaran Coalition is kind of in my way, I'll admit. They're kind of they're blocking me my exit to this arm without going north. Don't really like that, kind of upset, but it's not really much we can do uh, at the moment. It's 
like if you don't look like at this map straight down, it's really hard to know what's in your space and what's not. But I suppose we'll live. I really do hope we don't get space pirates. Because that is going to definitely fuck us over a bit. How much food are we making? We make three, that's fine. The sun's been surveyed. Oh, the game's back on normal speed now. There we go. We're not about game. The star's been surveyed. Don't lie to me. I do not like how long it takes to build fucking stuff, but I understand it takes that long, but it's just so annoying. Like, I want it just to be done, and the game is like, nah, fam. We're going to take another half an hour on your ass. I feel like I should just change this to this, the Interceptor Core. Because I just feel like he'd be better off with it. Nah, no, fuck it, we'll leave it. Well, we'll have stupid looking ships, it's fine. Uh, research it, please. Thank you. Twenty-two percent. And what this should do is take this one and push back this, and also give us this one as well. Basically, just give us a good set of systems to uh, work with. Unfortunately, also increasing this asshole's opinion bad, bad opinion of us. Well, we don't allow slavery, yo. Oh, yeah, we do. <laughs> Oops. Research complete. We have now nano got nano composite nano composite armor. Mining network. Oh, I really want iron thrusters, but that is way more important to me. <laughs> that is just way more important. Uh, two guys leveled up and some time project, and we failed. That's unfortunate, but shit happens. Uh, we're currently forty-two percent. I'm going to go build that afterwards. 22 months and we can build a uh, colony ship. Currently have the money to actually sustain a colony ship. So I might actually, I'm going to expand over here just to keep this border growing. Actually, probably expand up here so we can get access to new systems is probably a better idea. Desert world there. Uh, that's good. Desert worlds are our second favorite types of world along with tropical, I believe, is it? No. Oh, fuck. There's... Arid's our best, Tropical's our second best, and there's one other that's good we're good with. And I cannot, like, we're like 60% with. Oh, yeah, we could just check our race, couldn't we? It is Tundra. I knew it was something, I just couldn't remember what it was. System survey complete. Yeah, it's a system survey, we've got three minerals, so we really got shafted on the minerals, and we've got shafted on resources in general at the moment, in my opinion. Need to go resurvey this system. For some reason, we got this system, but we didn't get any. We didn't get the one close to it. Well, that's just weird. Anyway, construction ship. Eh, you're not. You're not they're eighty percent done. That's not too bad. Eighty percent done's pretty fucking done. I mean, it's pretty well done. That's. I'm, I can't complain. Ah, uh, hyperdrive, thou art my favourite. No, I don't want a science lab. Don't put a science lab on, damn it. Actually, one thing I do need to do is change out uh, my Corvette's design. I'm gonna auto. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna auto plate. We only have one type of weapons at the moment, so it's gonna give us two level two reactors and some armor. I'm gonna save that. And now it will basically stop us from having anything else. Now, you don't really need to do this, but... I'm going to anyway. Give my ship some uh, sturdiness. And due to the fact that I basically never fucking care about them anyway, just give them some defense. Basically, it means we can all upgrade all our stuff now. We're the only ones we're actually going to upgrade is our... Um, military fleet now. Now we're coming to the end of the part, but we're going to do a bit more. There we go. And this is this. We've now pushed our borders over here. That should really piss him off. It hasn't actually, so that's nice. Very lucky that didn't piss him off, because that really should have. There we go. Build a mining station there. But unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to have to leave this at the end of the part once we get once the end of the month, once we get there. Let's get it. Let's get it on slow normal speed now. 
So we've technically met two races, we just don't know if what one of them does or anything. Um, so I hope you guys have enjoyed the first part of the Imperium of Andorra on Stellaris, and I'll see you guys in the next part. See you guys then.